Welcome to the channel. I'm Tyson coming to you from my garage here in Phoenix, Arizona. So welcome to the channel. I'm sitting in front of a 1995 Acura Legend LS Coupe 6-speed. And to some of you, it might look like a pretty generic car, but to me, this thing has way more meaning than almost any other material possession in my world right now. So I have to set the stage a little bit for those of you who haven't watched all seven episodes leading up to this or don't have time to do so. Um, this, of all the videos I'll ever create on the channel, today's gonna be one of the most important and sort of meaningful ones for me. Uh, 23 years ago, December 26th of 2000, I was driving through my hometown in Southern Utah in an 89 Prelude just like this one, and it was two days before my 19th birthday. So I was 18, been out of high school for about six months. Saw this legend parked at a house and it stuck with me. I didn't really, you know, act on it at the time, but I thought about it more that night. I decided to go back past it the next day. So December 27th of 2000, I knocked on this door just for kicks because I'm kind of weird like that. I said, I love your car. I peeked inside. It was a six speed manual and I kind of fell in love with it from the get go. So I met Amy that day. She was visiting from Phoenix, actually. Her parents um, up there and we exchanged contact information. I have to show you, you know I'm a record keeper, so I kept this little blue post-it note. Obviously I've redacted some of her personal info, but she gave me this in 2000. Amy, parentheses, Phoenix, 95 Acura Legend. This piece of paper has been in my collection for over two decades and uh, sort of to, to condense the next you know 20 years worth of, of history we stayed in pretty close contact for unrelated reasons I ended up moving to Phoenix for a graduate school program and I connected with her in about 2005 I'll show you in a little bit some of the pictures uh, when I the next time I saw the car was actually five years later in 05 and sort of um, at that time she was still daily driving the car and it was uh, um, really just transportation for her. She knew it was kind of meaningful. She even ordered a license plate that was personalized that said 95 LS. So she knew that she, what she had was special. I remember her asking for advice a couple times on paint work and dash replacements and leather work and things like that. So she, she tried as well as she could to keep it as preserved as she could. Um, she squeezed about 140,000 miles out of it. Anyway, so so along comes about 2018 or 19 and the car was basically um, pushed to the side. She had moved in with her uh, elderly parents and needed to purchase a minivan so she could transport them to appointments and things like that. So the legend um, for various reasons was just sidelined and it got completely uh, deteriorated basically. Sun baked over the next few years. Um, it sat in her driveway unmoved and uh, really was just kind of um, a paperweight for lack of a better term and so she connected with me again um, toward the end of 2020 and offered me the car for parts basically she knew that I had a high mileage 94 LS and was thinking I could maybe use it or you know someone in the community could could make use of it and then it took almost another year to finally arrange the logistics to go get the car she was just, um, you know, not always available to respond or, or maybe, honestly, I feel like it was maybe having second thoughts about letting the car go because she'd kept it, she'd had it since it was new. Um, anyway, so finally, September 23rd of 2021, um, picked up the car, it came to my house here on a tow truck. So it's been 18 months of the most comprehensive restoration work I've ever done on any vehicle. We're talking mechanical, cosmetic, interior, dash, wheels, tires, um, the works. And I never really knew how deeply I was going to get into this thing and I wouldn't have it any other way. Um, I just, when I'm going at a project like this, it has to be 100% um, effort, especially when it's a car this meaningful. I mean, I knew of this legend even three years before I bought the one that now has 585,000 miles on it. So, you know, if you put it in those kind of terms, I've basically known of this car for half my life and more than any other material possession, 
um, it's got a special meaning to me. So I'm gonna walk you through just a little bit of like documentation and stuff before we're actually gonna go over to Amy's house tomorrow morning and she's gonna see the car for the first time since it left on a tow truck in late 2021. I did wanna share a little bit of uh, documentation photo wise. So the first known photo of the car I have was actually five years after first seeing it. This is 2005. Uh, but it's the same driveway where I saw it in 2000. So I, I believe that to be Amy's father who's since passed away. But the car actually looked pretty good at that time. Uh, she used to tow a little scamp trailer with it. So you can see there was a hitch attached to the back. But um, really, you know, from 05 till, you know, 2020, the next 15, 16 years, really the Arizona sun just destroyed that car. And I have... A few other pictures from over the years when I would meet up with her, 2011, I went to her office to, to check in. Um, I have a photo from, I think it was this day in 2011 when the car rolled, it was at 90,000 miles. So it's at 143 now. This was a fun day. I actually ended up behind her on the freeway in 2014 and kind of got her attention. I think I was in, looks like I was in the ILX at the time. Um, anyway, so, Moving to the acquisition piece, this was her text and I had to print it for you know future reference. September 11, 2021, this was the text that really motivated me to get a move on this car and save it before it was too late. She says, so sorry it's taken me so long to be in touch. And again, we, we did, we would go a week or two in between texts. So she was just not communicating super fast. The Acura has gotten worse undrivable, had to use the battery in another vehicle, oil's leaked out, power steering fluid is leaked out, tires have dry rot, the interior's trashed, sending you pics to see if you and a tow truck want to come get her. I don't want to send her to the car graveyard before letting you know. Tyson, I don't think she's worth reviving. Let me know. Send a couple pictures. Obviously, the hood was crunched there. Well, that text was the catalyst. I acted immediately, got the tow truck arranged, and then, you know, within... Um, I think a couple weeks because we had scheduling conflicts, uh, we got that car picked up. So anyway, here's the day when I took it away from her house. She kept her 95 LS plate as she should because that was nostalgic for her. But that's the location in the driveway where that car sat for several years, uh, just leaking power steering fluid, leaking everything, and just getting sunbaked um, day in, day out. Here are some photos of how the car appeared at that time. These had seat covers on them, but you could see they were just the sun. This, this side of the car was facing west and that Arizona sun just destroyed it. The dash was toast. It was so bad in some of my videos you see, I'll take my finger and just push it on some of the leather and it would just punch holes in it. So brittle. Both interior door handles were busted. I mean, it was just a jalopy. Uh, here's leaving her house on a tow truck. The mirrors were detached. Um, Again, this one shows the hood and everything. So I had a replica window sticker made up as I do. This one is actually signed by some Acura executives who were here during NS Expo, our big NSX club event in Phoenix um, last October. Okay, so here's the juicy part. Uh, tomorrow, Amy knows I'm stopping by and I'm gonna take my friend Ian with me so he can film this. But when I was restoring the car, I found this under the seat, one of the seats. Drive no faster than your guardian angel can fly. I sent a picture to Amy and I said, look what I found. She says, can you save that for me? And I said, sure. So earlier this week, I said, hey, I'd like to drop off that little placard. If you're around on Sunday, uh, can I stop by at 11? And uh, she said, sure. So guess what? Uh, that car that Amy said was not worth reviving, we're gonna take it, we're gonna show her, and I'm gonna give her this picture that says, thanks Amy, from Tyson. So, if you guys are ready for this, I'm ready for it, and let's get a move on. to Amy's house. It's only about 10 minutes away. All right, guys, we are about less than a mile away from the house. So we'll see how this goes. Just gonna kind of uh, keep it casual, keep it light, and uh, show Amy this car, and then we'll uh, grab a bite to eat. So peace out. 
back in the driveway where it was. We're still a few minutes early, so. Yeah. Hi. Hey there. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you? Come on in. Good to see you. Good to see you Brought too. my friend Ian. Hi. Hi. I'm Ian. Nice I'm to Ian. meet Very you. Very nice to meet yes, you. Yes, thank you. I'm going to freak out. <laughs> oh my God. You've got to be kidding me. Nope. <laughs> Can you believe it? Holy shit. I know. <laughs> I added the spoiler. Come look. Oh my God. Oh, I'm so happy Paint, for you. Oh my wheels, god. Tires, interior. Where did you find the wheels? I had them refinished from a shop. <laughs> what do you think? Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Historic plates. Oh yeah, my gosh. I know. It looks so good out there. Actually, it doesn't say 95 LS. So I'm not as cool <laughs> as you are, but um, the uh, audio system was gone through. The back seat is actually from a parts car. I only had to have the front two replaced, repolstered. The dash I had to get from Boise, Idaho. Do you remember how bad the dash was? Yeah. Well, I had replaced it once. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. not a single crack in there. So. Holy shit. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got all new rugs. The yeah, new carpet, um, new rugs. The, the console, the shift knob. Um, here, fire it up. Just a little far back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little shorter than you are. I don't even remember how to drive a stick. What? Shame <laughs> on you. <laughs> like a champ. Do you remember how bad the power steering leak was? Yeah. I mean, this thing was the fluid would fall out as quickly as you poured it in. There's <laughs> yeah. probably still a spot on your driveway. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. It's pretty crazy, right? Unbelievably crazy. <laughs> um, head gasket replacement. Oh, my gosh. New radiator, all new hoses, uh, the electrical system. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I mean, this was just <clears throat> caked. <laughs> It had dirt. We did have to take the insulation off. Do you remember how it had yeah, that stuff that was falling? It was a fire hazard. Sure. They don't make it anymore. Um, I also had to check. Find, you find that foot? Look at these fog lights. I even added these oh. on here. Oh Those my are factory gosh. accessory. Really? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so the hood came from Parts Car. A friend from that follows my YouTube channel uh, donated me a car that had been wrecked on the side, but the hood was perfect. So. <laughs> wow, that's great. Yeah. Because I looked for one. I looked for one. Yeah. Okay. Well, the problem was even the latch was broken. Remember yeah. how oh, yeah. you I had to reach go. up in here yeah. and manually do it. Do it. Uh -huh. So. Of course, you had to hold it up too because it's these struts <laughs> I had to replace. <laughs> yeah. It's all on your yeah, head. That was the first thing. <clears throat> yeah. Green knife. That knife. That's good. How, what year is that? Uh, ninety-five. You can you can tell him. You can, you bought it. <laughs> Um, I bought this car in 1995, and then when it was ready to go to the junkyard, I gave it to this young man because he is an Acura lover, and he fixed it all up. Wow, it's brand new now. I know, it yeah. does. What are you going to do with it? Oh, it's a keeper, unless she wants it back. No, you can have that working for it this weekend. And then, oh, check this out. I even found on eBay an original Bell Acura. <gasps> no, like, you yeah. did not. Oh, my God. So that'll go in there. Um, <laughs> Wow. The, uh, Are you going to put this on the front? It, maybe on the back. This car is going to go inside a dealer showroom for about a month and a half. Really? On display. Yeah. You're kidding. Um, I showed Ian this, but do you remember this day? Oh, yeah. That was the pre. And then. Oh, look at that. Yeah. That was a mess. The west facing side of the car was the worst because it had, sun. you know, Up the sun. The sun yeah. um, it's parked like this. Yeah. Most of the time. Yeah, it was in that spot right there. So, Beautiful. yeah. Well, I tell the story of how I knocked on your parents' door in St. George. Mm -hmm. yep. And I like your car. 
It was a day before my 19th birthday. I was 18. And it took me 20 years to get this damn car out of here. <laughs> Yeah, I yeah. remember that day. Yeah. And this has been funny because we've been in touch ever since. Yeah. Oh my gosh. 40, I don't know if you paid 43. I did. I paid 40. I paid. That was yeah. big money back then. Yeah, it was big money back then. <laughs> and um, it was, it had, to, it had to get done. It wasn't even done. It was coming over from wherever the factor is across oh. the seas. And um, it came over on boat. And then it came by train down to the train thing down here. You know where the train yeah. started down there? And then the guy that I bought it, the dealership that I bought it from, picked it up down there because he didn't want it to go on a, on a truck. Yeah. So he went down and picked it up, went and got the windows tinted, I don't know, filled the tank up with gas, right. a whole bunch of stuff, and then uh, delivered it to me at the restaurant. Wow. Yeah. So it had a, a mile or two on it from him. Four miles, I think. Four miles. Maybe eight miles. <laughs> but something like that. this is going to go on the windshield when I show the car, so it'll say... Final year for the legend, full restoration, Arizona car since new, which is all true. Wow. And I did this research. This is beautiful. It's one of only 74 cars in this color combination with the, the manual. You're kidding. Yeah. Well, I ordered it. I yeah. ordered it with the those colors. Yeah. And I did take off your trailer hitch. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that was I, on there. <laughs> I told my uh, my mechanic says, what did she tow with this? I said, this Scamp, little trailer, scamp, right? Little trailer. Did it do okay? It did great. <laughs> it did great out in the out in the you know. I went deer hunting. Yeah. And just hooked the scamp up, and I didn't fill it all the way full of water because yeah. that's heavy weight. Yeah. But I had the water tank was half full, and huh. took it out in the backwoods. Well, and, hey, it's a versatile rig. It's yeah, before yeah. anybody had SUVs. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh. yeah. my friend Ian for being my cameraman. Thanks buddy. You're welcome. You're always uh, here when I need you and we'll, uh, we'll come at you next time.